I just want to, uh, you know, just talk about something novel, which you probably don't talk about, you know, being here in Chutz. I want to talk about the end of Shushan Purim, just to, uh, you know, uh, briefly, you know, because I, I figure it might be something you might be interested in hearing. It's, uh, you know, it, it's an amazing thing that, you know, it's the only chag like that, 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 that you know, it, not all Jews keep it on the same day. You know, saying, you know, Pesach, everyone keeps tests of, you know, Benisa and Sukkot, you know, every other chag. And it's, all of a sudden, on, on Purim, right, we, you know, we have, uh, you know, people who live in a krach, a muk of chav, Moshe Yeshua Benun, they keep a different day. They don't keep on Purim. That's amazing. You know, why they, uh, as if it's two different yom toivim. You know, um, right? So, the whole thing happens because Esther says, you're not saying gam mocher la Yehudim. Right? One more day. Right? What does she want? How many more people did they kill? Yeah, yeah. Right, that's it. You know, that's all. I, you know, it was so important to get another 300 dead. Well, that's people, people in Washington, a lot of anti Semites in Washington. <laughs> right. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Yeah, what was so important to get one more day just in, in that town, Dafka, in Shushan? What? Maybe they were right, so, uh, and, and then, and so, and for, and for that comes the whole Shushan Purim, and they make it totally in Choma. Make it totally in, you know, it's not a riot to build the wall, right? But the, uh, right? <laughs> right? You know, make it totally in Choma. You know, so it's, it's Choma, and it was, you know, one more day. But, you know, the, this issue of Mokhar comes up often with Amalek. First of all, even before that, in her plot to bring down Haman by the Mishtayin, she didn't do it by the first thing. You know, Mokhar, Mokhar. And by the original Mohammed Amalek, Mokhar Anochi Nitzav Arosha Giva. It's a concept of machar, constantly by Muhammad Samolik. Right. So the Indian is like this. The uh, you know, Muhammad Hashem Ba'amalek mi dor dor. Right? It's gonna be uh, it's gonna take all the generations. Right? Uh, right. <coughs> the the Muhammad of Amalek is, is not the Pshat, right? That you have uh, you have you have like a pest you gotta get rid of. Right, so so you, you just shoo them away. No, no, uh, the, the fight against Amalek is for the sake of destiny. It's midor dor. So what does it mean midor dor? So Gemar says in Avodah Zor, Bo nachzik tovu lavosenu, shumole chotu anu kmishlo bonu lolam. Right, we should be actually grateful that our you know, forefathers screwed up here and there, because it makes us feel important, because we're cleaning up their mess. Otherwise, what would he do? Well, we would be meaningless. Right, anu right, and 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 the the uh, from the original chet eight sadas tovarak came the necessity of all the duras. After the chet says kotz vidar dar tatzmiachloch, right? So dar dar, right, right. So right, so so aside from uh, you know it's, it's, it alludes to Mordechai, but but the but it's it's miloshin door door, right. That what we have to do is lador vador no delacha to make up for how you know the apikorsus that the nachash fooled us into. So it takes all the doras. So we know the Indian of all the doras is to metaken for chet right? Right. So now and that's why all the doras are necessary and hamim natar minayin haminayets and that's why mochamal Hashem ba'amolek mi dor dor. He's Mushrash in the Eitz Hadas, which created the whole necessity for the, all the duras between now and Shital Feshdin, that it has to be the Dor Vador No Delacha. And that's the, and, 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 and the Iker is in Chodesh Ador. Ador. That we bring Yechido Shalom to Makate, to do the Avor of the Doris to be Metak in the Kotz Vidar Dar Tatzmiach Loch. Right? And that's why by. So Muhammad uh, Samok is not just you know, to get rid of uh, some type of uh, problem that you have you know, by circumstance now. It's, 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 it's destiny. It's, it's the war for destiny. And that's why there's always a view towards the future. It's not just to get right out of the Tzor of Day, but it's to make the timeline move Forward as the world becomes more and more refined. It's for the sake of the world of tomorrow. So there's always a, in a view for the future, for the future. <coughs> By the um, all right. So now, 
<coughs> bearing that in mind. So there's a, so that's you're not saying gam mochor la yehudim gam mochor that without without we're going to refine this but in, generally speaking shushan purim is the purim of tomorrow you know purim the present is the purim of today shushan purim is yinasin gam mochor it was special for, just for the purpose of pushing the timeline further and that's why it's mano shalze los mano shalze because this is the purim of the present this is the purim of the future all right <coughs> all right that that's what it's in what's in it is about. So now to, to go a, a deeper right, on, on this, so you know, here's the question. Right? If, if we mentioned before earlier tonight, Bereshis, Bashil Yisrael, Shnei Kareish. The whole world's for Bereshis, for Klal Yisrael. Right? Of course, Amalek wants to take that so that way. You know, Bashil, Bereshis, Goyim, Amalek. They want to take our place in reality. But what were they thinking? When you kill Klal Yisrael, the world's going to come to an end. Right? Because the whole Bria is for the sake of Klal Yisrael and the Torah. What were they thinking? What was the plan for the day after? What was their long-range plan? What was their plan for the future? So it's difficult. It's in the writings of the Ramad Vali, a Talmud of the Ramchal. They had an unbelievable conspiracy to make Shushan the new Yerushalayim and to trap the Shechina there. And that's the secret that, that Achashosh by, by, the, by the party wore the big day kahuna, right? And, that, and, and also, for a certain amount of time, you know, it looked like their conspiracy would be Matzliach because they had Esther there. Esther was the Midah of Malchus, the Midah of Shechina. They had her in captivity. Shechinta Begalusa. And they thought they could capture the Shechina and force it to stay there. The Shushan would be the new Yerushalayim to substitute for Yerushalayim. Right? And they would hold the Shekhinah in captivity there, and that's what's going to keep the, that's what's going to keep the world going. And that's the side, you know, a, a further meaning that the Gemara says, well, you know, Haman and Ahasuerus, what's the one guy had a, had a ditch, and another guy had a mound, right? So they both hate the Jews. This one hates the outside there. Yeah? So they put your ditch in my mound. That they wanted, the right? That so you uh, mound, mound and mound and ditch, right? That's what I meant. Yeah, right? That's what I'm right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Right. They, they thought, you know, that means that you come to equilibrium, put the mound into the ditch, right? That Haman and Achshar thought that between them they could sandwich the Shechina there, hold it there. And that was the end of Shushan Abira. Shushan Abira was supposed to be a replacement for the Shoshana. Ani Shoshana. Ani Shoshana Sa'amakim, which refers to the Shechina. Right? In Yerushalayim. This would be the new Yerushalayim. They would hold the Shekhinah in captivity there, and, and, and that, was the, that was the conspiracy. They'd capture the Shekhinah, the Shekhinah Begalusa, and that's how they'd keep the world going. The day after Klaisel has gone. That was to make Shushan the new Yerushalayim. So by the very last poem, I was by my rabbi, Moshe Shapiro. I asked him this question. He says, Yo, you know, from the Mishnah, it's in Mesech uh, there was a Lishka in Bayesh Sheni, called Shushan Abira. I said, well, of all the names, you want to remember that? They gave it a name in the office. Yeah, I remember it. You know, it was, you know, right, you know, you know, where they used to hang out, it's, uh, it was, it was uh, at least partially whole. Right? So Lishka called Shushan Abira. So I said, why was that? So he says, Lilamed, Shekol Bayit Sheni. Kol Bayit Sheni, Ba Mikoach Shushan Abira. That was part of the Vinafohu. Their conspiracy was to make Shushan the new Yerushalayim, and the part of the Vinafohu was that conspiracy failed, and Mikoach that, the, the real base of Mikdash got rebuilt, and to make a Zecher for that, they, they made a Lishka called Shushan Abira. Right? And, uh, and, and that's Nifla Moid, right? The, uh, right? Just to bring call full circle, you know, the. Uh, you know, the uh, first one understand why, it, why, it's, why it's totally in Choma. So the Medrash says in Koheles, Shol Nachash Lama Tamotsui Ben Agderos. Why are you, you know, and the snake's hand, hand under a fence. It said, Ani Paratsti Gidro Shal Olam. That the Chedet Sadas was called, that there was no wall. Right? That's why we need to build the wall, right? Paratsti Gidro Shal Olam, that, you know, that now the Tovin Ra, the Ra infiltrated reality. That's called, I broke the wall, right? You know, and, and, that's, and uh, that's what we dive in Tivne Chomos Yerushalayim. That's the real, that's to restore the walls of reality, to keep the Ra outside of reality. And, and that's Torah, Ani Choma Zu Torah. Tamar Chomos, we Mamid Dvarm Kachoma, 
And that's why he made it totally in Chomel, Chomel's Yerushalayim. But the main thing is, is that says the Yerushalmi. Right, and the Rambam brings in Hilchos and Megillah that the whole Shushan Purim was the covet of Yerushalayim. They were metaken Shushan Purim to give covet to Yerushalayim that was Chorev Bosozman, and you have to pretend as if it's fully built because that's part of the Nafochu. Shushan was supposed to become the replacement for Yerushalayim, and that was the conspiracy of how they would continue the day after Klai Yisrael is gone. Shushan Purim is the whole Nafochu of that conspiracy, right? That you know, sing Gam Locher Yehudim. And it's to give covet to Yerushalayim, the real Yerushalayim. And, and, and to give it covet as if it's fully rebuilt, as if we're holding by Machar, the great, great future. Rebosh will be Bone Yerushalayim, be Master Shechinas, will be Amen. Amen.